What's going on adventurers? My name's Travis and welcome back to another project. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to de-winterize a trailer. But first, we gotta go pick it up. trailer is back home uh, from its winter storage and now we're ready to start dewinterizing it. You may be wondering what dewinterizing is. So in colder climates like we have here in Alberta, we need to winterize our trailer uh, going into the winter. What that involves is draining all the water out of all the holding tanks and then replacing all that uh, water in all the lines uh, with RV antifreeze. What this does is make sure that when the temperatures dip below freezing, uh, that water in the line doesn't freeze and start cracking your lines and making a huge mess. So dewinterizing is basically doing the reverse of what we did uh, in the fall. So we're getting rid of all that uh, pink RV antifreeze and then sanitizing our holding tanks uh, so we can get it filled up and go camping. So there's a couple things that we need to do. We need to run some fresh water through all the lines, uh, replace all that uh, pink RV antifreeze. Then we need to sanitize our fresh water holding tank. So uh, there's a little bit of moisture in there. You know, you can have some growth of bacteria and everything. So we wanna sanitize that, get it all cleaned out. And then we're gonna run that sanitized solution throughout uh, the lines in the trailer, get everything all nice and cleaned up and ready to go. So we have a product here, it's called uh, Spring Fresh. I just picked this up at Canadian Tire. Uh, what this is, is it's a uh, cleaner and sanitizer for your fresh water system. So the first thing we're going to do is just fill up our fresh water tank and then drain it completely. What that'll do is just give it a nice quick rinse. Uh, if there's anything in there, just get it all nice and cleaned out before we hit it with this sanitizing solution. Right here's our fresh water drain. We're just gonna undo this and uh, drain all that water out. So now we're gonna clean and sanitize our tank. So we're using this uh, Spring Fresh uh, cleaner and sanitizer here. So the directions say to fill your tank up to about two thirds uh, and then put in the proper amount of sanitizer. Uh, one quart is good for uh, 25 gallons, so uh, based on the size of our tank, we should be able to get away with one quart and about two thirds full. So to put this into our tank, I just uh, made this little bit of a funnel here out of an old uh, water bottle. So I just cut a little piece out of here, that way we can use it as a nice clean funnel and then uh, throw it away when we're done. So now we're just gonna fill it up to two thirds full. So Amber's gonna go inside and watch the uh, tank meter and uh, let me know when it's filled to uh, two thirds. Now that we've got the tank filled up with the sanitizing solution, the bottle says just to slosh it around, get that uh, sanitizing solution mixed in with the water, and then it'll slosh around and clean the tank. We were 
getting a couple funny looks from our neighbors with the trailer uh, just sloshing around like that but uh, we got the tank all mixed up now so we're gonna throw the pump on here and then just go around to every single tap turn on the hot and cold lines that'll just drain all that pink RV antifreeze out of each one of the lines after all the lines are drained uh, we're going to uh, reconnect the hot water tank to the system uh, when we were winterizing it we turned on some bypasses so that the rv antifreeze wouldn't go into the hot water tank because uh, it can just burn out the heating elements uh, so we're going to get all that pink uh, rv antifreeze out of the lines then reconnect the hot water tank and this sanitizing solution is actually good uh, for the hot water tank as well so we'll fill up the hot water tank and then we just have to let it sit for about 10 minutes uh, that'll just make sure everything's all cleaned freshened up and then uh, we can start uh, moving on to the next step Now that we've got all the lines drained out, uh, we can reconnect the hot water tank. So we're in the bathroom here. Uh, behind this access panel is where our hot water heater is located. So if we remove this panel, uh, it's going to be really tricky to see down there, uh, but there's two lines down there. Those two lines represent the cold water uh, going into the hot water tank and then the hot water coming out of the hot water tank. So it's currently bypassed, so there's two valves. I'm uh, just gonna turn those. It'll reconnect the hot water tank to the system and then uh, we'll turn the pump back on. It'll fill up the hot water tank and we can sanitize it. So we've given the cleaning and sanitizing solution about 10 minutes uh, to do its thing. Now we have to drain it out of the tank, out of the lines, and out of the hot water heater. There's a couple ways you could do this. Uh, you could just pull the drain plug, drain it out onto the street, but we don't really want to be dumping all that uh, cleaning solution onto the street. So uh, we're just going to turn on the pump, drain it uh, into our gray water and black water holding tanks, and then we'll just have to go dump it. To drain the hot water tank, uh, there's a hot water tank drain on the outside, so we're just gonna pull that, uh, drain that out. Uh, then we're gonna fill up the fresh water tank uh, once or twice uh, with nice clean water, run it through the lines, run it through the hot water tank, uh, and then just uh, drain that out onto the street. Just make sure it's all nice and uh, washed out. Before you pull the drain plug on your hot water tank, make sure you turn off your pump and just open up one of the lines, uh, the hot water taps uh, in your trailer to drain off all the residual pressure. You want to make sure all the pressure is out of your hot water tank before you open it, uh, otherwise that drain plug could blow out on you. Behind your hot water panel, there's a pressure relief valve here. So you want to flip that and bleed off any residual pressure. Once all the pressure is out, you can remove your drain plug. So we've got the fresh water tank and the hot water tank completely drained now. So we're going to fill up the fresh water tank with nice clean water, run that clean water through all the lines that'll just rinse out any residual sanitizer, uh, fill up the hot water tank a couple times, get that cleaned out and then uh, dump the uh, fresh water tank and we'll be ready to go. We've filled up and drained the fresh water tank twice and then used the nice clean water in the fresh water tank to run through all of our lines and our hot water heater. Everything's coming out nice and clean, nice and fresh. So that's just a quick walkthrough of how to dewinterize your trailer and get it ready for the summer. If you haven't already liked and subscribed, we'd really appreciate the support. If you have any questions, please comment below. 
So thanks for joining me on this adventure project and we hope to see you again really soon.